Live Booleans are probably my favorite new feature in a long time. I use it with almost every project I work on now. Here's a quick workflow enhancement that makes the process more streamlined. Basically, the issue is that in order to calculate the Boolean result, ZBrush needs you to have solo and transparent modes turned off and live Booleans turned on. So let's make a macro to do this automatically. All right, let's take a look around this exercise file. We've got a gargoyle with a few live Boolean features. You can see here in our subtools, we've got the main object, which is a start group, and then it adds in the base, and then it subtracts out this object, which creates this broken effect. Now, as you're working on this, you're probably going to want to turn live Boolean on and off to see what the result looks like without the Booleans, or you might want to go into transparent mode so you can see one object with the other object sort of transparent through it, or you might want to go into solo mode. All of these different ways of looking at it can help you work on this model. Now let's see what happens if we try to create the Boolean result. So let's go down in our subtool palette to Boolean and make Boolean mesh is the button that we should click to make this happen. However, it's grayed out. So you might think, well, we have to turn on live Boolean here. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on it now. But nothing happens. Now, what it's not telling you is that it requires transparent mode and solo to be off before this will work. So now let's click it. Okay, so it's calculating the union mesh result right now. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, it created a new tool, and you can see now that these multiple subtools have been fused into one result. Okay, that's great and all. However, I don't like having to go through all these steps of turning off transparent mode and solo mode and turning on live Boolean mode every time I want to generate the result. Sometimes I just want to click a button and have it do it all for me. So let's set up a macro for that. First, let's set all the settings the wrong way so that we can go through this macro and set them the right way. So we'll turn transparent on, solo on, and live Boolean off. Now let's go up to macro, new macro. Now it's going to recommend that we click yes. However, I recommend you hit no. And so in this macro, we'll just go through and turn off transparent, turn off solo, turn on Boolean, and click make Boolean mesh. Okay, now that it's finished making the Boolean mesh, we can go to macro and end macro. Now let's go ahead and save this in our ZBrush program files folder. So let's see, it should be the C drive here, program files, pixel logic, ZBrush version number. Let's go to Z startup, macros, and misc. And let's save this as run Boolean and save. Okay, let's test it out to see if it works. Turn on transparent, turn on solo mode, turn off live Boolean, and let's go to our macro and run Boolean. Okay, great, it just took care of it all for us. So what I like to do is edit my interface and drag that macro from here into the interface. So let me just do that right now. Preferences, config, Enable Customize, we'll go up to Macro, hold down Control and Alt, and drag Run Boolean into the interface. Put it wherever you want. You can put it down here, you can put it sitting on top of the button here, wherever you want. And then we'll go back to Preferences, turn off Enable Customize, and then you could store your configuration file if you wanted to, so that it's always going to load up with this button where you want it to be. Okay, great, so there's a little macro. It just ends up saving me time because some days I might need to uh, create a Boolean union mesh uh, dozens of times in a day. And if every time I have to remember to turn off transparent mode, turn off solo mode, turn on live Boolean mode, it can just slow me down. This way, it gets all the hurdles out of my way.